Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Victoria. I'm 31. I live in the southwest of England with my husband, my stepson and our cat. And I thought I would start today with a wrap up on what I read in October so you can get an idea of the types of things that I read and what you can expect um, from my booktube channel. Um, I have seven books to talk about today so I will get on with it otherwise this video is going to be incredibly long. Um, but I just want to say that I, I've always been a massive reader. I love books. Um, I actually have a master's degree in writing which I will talk about in another video and I've been watching YouTube in general for a long time pretty much since from the beginning um, and also I've been starting to follow booktubers over the last six months and thought I would give it a go um, and so yeah here I am with my first video now the first book that I've got to talk about I generally read um, a lot of thrillers I have a little bit of historical fiction mixed in a little bit of YA um, a little bit of uh, literary fiction but the first book that I have to talk about is none of that it is um, Giovanna, Giovanna Fletcher's The One That I Want um, I follow Giovanna on basically all social media I think she's fab um, she talks a lot about um, real life parenthood and body, body positivity and all that kind of thing and I realised at the start of the year that I hadn't actually read anything of hers that she'd written I did read Eve of Man, which she co-wrote with her husband Tom Fletcher and really enjoyed that, but realised that I hadn't actually read any of her solo writing. And the main reason for that is um, women's fiction is not a genre that I've read very much of. Um, it's not usually one that appeals to me, so I thought I would give it a go. And actually, along with Giovanna's book, I've got one other book in this um, particular batch that's also women's fiction. So if you have any recommendations for me in that genre, then please do leave them below. But um, the one that I want is actually the third book of Giovanna's that I've read. I've also read the two Billion Me books that she wrote and quite enjoyed those. This one um, is about a girl called Maddie and her friendship with two boys, uh, Rob and Ben. And it's basically about them growing up. They meet when they're kids at primary school and it's about them growing up, becoming adults and a love triangle that forms between them. For me... Um, love triangle isn't really a trope that I enjoy particularly, I find it a little bit dull um, and a little bit frustrating and I think for me um, this book was a little bit frustrating because it seemed to be a lot of people that just weren't talking to each other, like if they'd all just sat down and had a conversation it would have been a lot more straightforward, that's just me. Um, I did enjoy the warmth, I really liked the warmth in Giovanna's writing and I did like the characters, I just found them a little bit frustrating at times and I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 um, on Goodreads, so I did enjoy it, just possibly not quite for me. The next book that I read was The Wife Between Us by Gria Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen, apologies if I've not said that right. I loved this, I gave it 5 stars, it's a thriller, it's quite unusual for me to give 5 stars to a thriller because I've read so many of them that I can usually see the twists coming. Um, I saw the first one. I didn't see the subsequent ones and I was really, really, really gripped. Um, it's a little bit difficult to kind of explain this book without giving too much away. Um, so what I do is I'll just read the back, that's probably the best way because then I won't give any spoilers. So it says, when you read this book, you will make many assumptions. It's about a jealous wife obsessed with her replacement. It's about a younger woman set to marry the man she loves. The first wife seems like a disaster. Her replacement is the perfect woman. You will assume you know the motives, the history, the anatomy of the relationships. You will be wrong. It's really good. I'm going to reread this definitely at some point. Um, I just, yeah, I didn't see the last twists coming at all and I would highly recommend it. Uh, next we have The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchinson. Now this is really dark, uh, so I would put a warning on this. It's um, about a serial killer called The Gardener who basically adopts uh, abducts uh, young women and keeps them in his what he calls the garden and he tattoos them to make them look like butterflies. Um, I love a good serial killer novel and things that are dark I read quite a bit so it didn't bother me but I would say that this is not for the faint hearted. Um, very very different to the Giovanna Fletcher book. Um, I really liked it. It's basically told um, by Maya or Maya um, and it's set, uh, it, it flashes back and forth in time. So at the start of the book, Maya and the other butterflies, there's about 15 of them, have been rescued or have escaped from the garden. That's not a spoiler, you know that straight away. 
um, and it skips between her conversations or her interviews with the policeman and back to when she was in the garden, when she was abducted and when she was in the garden and things that, that went on there. Um, what I really liked was she's quite an unreliable narrator and I love a book with an unreliable narrator because you just don't know who to trust. Um, and you don't know, uh, from the start, you kind of don't know if she was a victim or if she was part of the garden. You kind of don't know who to trust and what's going on. I really enjoyed this. I gave it, I think, four out of five. It's very um, explicit in places. There are things that the garden does to the girls, which, to be honest, even I had to kind of take a breath before I kept reading. But I read it in about a day. It's not very long. Um, and I put the second book, there's three in the series, I put the second book onto my TBR. So yeah, would recommend as long as you are used to reading dark subject matter. Following on from that, I decided to read something a little bit lighter and I read Wild About the Girl by Louise Pentland. So this is the other women's fiction book I was talking about. I've watched um, Louise's videos for years on YouTube, like probably six or seven years, like basically from the beginning. Um, and I read Wild About Me, Wild Like Me even, um, her first book last year, and I liked it, it was okay. Um, I didn't love it, I think I gave it three and a half stars out of five. This, I gave five stars, I absolutely adored it. And if anyone could give recommendations to things that are similar, I would ha happily read them. This is about a second book, so it's about Robin Wilde and basically her life. Um, she's got a little girl and she works in the makeup industry and it's just basically about her life but I really liked it, it was fun, it was sassy, um, it was exciting, I really loved Robin Wilde, I've just felt really, she's so warm, the writing's really warm, it's a bit like a hug. I also liked that there is a romance um, but it's not the central focus at all um, which is something that I found quite refreshing uh, and yeah I just really loved it, I don't want to give too much away. Um, there is part of it that was unexpectedly emotional um, from the first book, which was a quite fluffy. This has got a lot more of a serious um, section in it and it does talk about a couple of quite difficult topics. And yeah, I just really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to seeing what else she writes. Next, I went back to thrillers and read Sometimes I Lie um, by Alice Feeney, Fenny? Sorry, I'm not very good with pronouncing names. This was clever. I gave it four stars, I think, um, because I did see the first twist coming, but there were a couple of others, and it did keep me very gripped. I read it in a day. Again, I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to give any spoilers, so I'll just read the back, which says, My name is Amber Reynolds. There are three things you should know about me. One, I'm in a coma. Two, my husband doesn't love me anymore. And three, sometimes I lie. Now again, like I said before, I really like an unreliable narrator and Amber is definitely unreliable. There are two voices in this. One is a young girl um, growing up in quite a dysfunctional family and the other is Amber as an adult. Um, and she's been in some kind of accident, she's in a coma, but she can hear what's going on around her and it's her talking at sort of, it's set in her present, her past, and also the young girl's voice as well, which is in the past. And yeah, I don't want to give too much away, but I enjoyed it. I would recommend it and I would read more from her. I've got two left, so we're nearly there. The next one was He Said, She Said um, by Erin Kelly. This one tackles a really hard subject matter and I did find it interesting. I think I gave it three and a half out of five in the end, just because I didn't really like either of the main characters. Um, again, unreliable narrators, which is always interesting. Um, but I just didn't warm to either of the main characters. So basically, um, it's set around a couple called Laura and Kit who are um, eclipse chasers, so they go all around the world watching um, lunar eclipses. And after one of them, and this isn't a spoiler, it's on the back, they basically witness the tail end of an attack um, and Laura sees most of it and then Kit is kind of behind her so he doesn't see anything that she does and basically things then start to unravel really quickly for the pair of them. Um, I liked it, it was twisty, um, it flashes backwards and forwards so it goes from them 
in the aftermath of the attack and then them 15 years later and the effect that every, that it's had on their lives as well as the person that's the victim. Um, it was very clever, but like I said, I just didn't like Laura or Kit very much and I struggle with that. I'm somebody who has to really like a character to enjoy a book, um, but if you're looking for a twisty thriller, then this is a good one to go for. Okay, and then finally, my last book of October, I read um, the first in the Book of Dust series, La Belle Sauvage, by Philip Pullman. I've read the His Dark Materials trilogy several times. I read it when I was a kid, I studied it again at university, and then I did a reread at the start of this year because I knew that this was coming out. I have slightly mixed feelings about Pullman. I think sometimes he can be a bit heavy on the theology and a bit light on the actual adventure or action. Um, but I really enjoyed this. It's, it is a big book. It's over 600 pages. Um, so it's, it's quite a chunk. But I read it in a couple of days. I really liked it. It's set before the His Dark Materials trilogy. So Lyra is a baby. Um, and it was nice to be back in that world with the demons and everything else. Um, and it's basically about a boy called Malcolm who uh, works in his dad's pub. He's got a canoe called La Belle Sauvage. Um, and Lyra, as a baby, is delivered to um, a nunnery um, across the river from, from Malcolm's pub. And that's kind of all I can tell you about it because I don't, again, don't want to give any spoilers. But I really liked it. Like I said, there is... Um, a little bit of theology and that kind of thing as you would expect from a Pullman book but this is quite heavy on the adventure and I'm really excited to read the next volume whenever it is that it comes out. So that's um, my October reads. I hope you've enjoyed um, this video. I'm going to aim to get one video up a week on a Sunday. I will be talking mostly about books. Um, I'm going to talk about my TBR and how I manage that. I want to do a bookshelf tour so you can see how I've got um, my books displayed and all that kind of thing. But I may also talk about other topics. Um, I'm a step parent so I might talk about that. Um, possibly some mental health stuff. I might do the odd reading vlog but we'll see how it goes and I've got a couple of tags that I want to do. There's a newbie tag that I found that might be um, good for me to do shortly. But yeah, um, this is my, my first video, so um, please leave any nice comments below. Everything that I've talked about will be um, linked below along with my Instagram, Twitter and Goodreads. And um, I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.